So, uh, in the previous video, I showed you how you can um, load the Golem uh, cache within Katana. Uh, and in this video, I will show you how you can do shading assignment with uh, Arnold. So, just a, a bit of uh, theory with uh, shading assignment. Um, when you do your character file within Golem, so let's open the character file which is currently used within the sem, uh, and let's say the uh, undercoat group here. So here my character is composed of like a t-shirt mesh and the body arm mesh that, that makes the uh, undercoat group. So every mesh here is connected to a shading group. So my t-shirt is connected to a shading group within Maya and my um, arms are connected to another shading group. And every shading group here is connected to a surface shader and sometimes to some shader attributes that I have manually set up here. So what happens here is that within the Golem character, we store a geometry file. So that geometry file is just store the meshes for the characters, but shaders are not stored. We only store the name of the shading group and the name of the surface shader. Um, so what I would like to replicate within Katana is having a way to create shaders within the exact same names or materials within the exact same name and, um, and the, let the rendering engine assign them. So, to do so, what I would like to do is have a man and the torso t-shirt uh, SG named uh, material within, within Katana. So let's, uh, let me show you how you can do this with Arnold. So um, first thing I would like to do is create like a network material here and say that it's an Arnold uh, surface. I would like to create like a... Uh, Arnold shading node here, there, and connect that to my network material. So I'm just gonna merge this here below so I don't mess up stuff. And what I would like to have is that network material name currently. So if I just put the name here, uh, that's not gonna be sufficient. Um, first thing is that Arnold by default don't export materials uh, which are not assigned to a geometry. So here Arnold doesn't know that that golem cache requires that shader. So as as soon as he sees this, it says, okay, it's not it's not connected to any uh, any geometry. So let's optimize and uh, do not export this. That's the first thing. So what I could do is maybe like a create like a, a dummy geometry here. Uh, but um, e even if I do that and assign the shader, even if I do that, um, Arnold will rename that that material to fit some of the Katana conventions. So to fix this, uh, one way to deal with it is to create a Arnold material setting, put it here. And that Arnold material setting is a specific node which will allow you to force create uh, the, the material. So here it just says that even if it's not assigned to a geometry, uh, let's force create it and force rename it. Because as I said earlier, um, here, when it's gonna be exported, it's gonna be exported with a specific name and uh, what you want to do is force the name here. Um, so what you'd like also to specify is which material is gonna be concerned by that node. So I'm gonna add a pass and within my material, I'm gonna select that guy here and say that I want to use the scene graph selection. So, so here it's saying that that uh, material at uh, that path here will be created. It will be forcing to be created. It will be renamed with that node, uh, with that name, sorry. If I go to the merge node here, um, select my Arnold rendering engine and I preview the render. Uh, hopefully I should get my t-shirt meshes being shaded properly with that Arnold shader node. Or not. So let's figure out what's wrong. So uh, let's figure out what I've done wrong. Uh, shading group, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot to add an interface here to my shader node. Uh, obviously, I need to specify it's a standard node house. Uh, it does not exist. Okay, should be good. Merge, render. Okay, better. Now I get my t-shirt being assigned with a shader. Um, so what if I would like to make a shading variation here? Uh, so let's rename that like standard surface, something like this. And uh, let's say I want to have variation. So within Golem, uh, when I define my character file and when I define my uh, t-shirt shader, uh, I attach a couple of uh, attributes here that I can or can't, uh, can or cannot use if I want to. 
And uh, one of the attributes I created is uh, integer user data, which we're going to be named texture IDX, uh, which will have like a random value between 0 and 4. So I could use this into my shading graph. So I'm going to copy the name here. And I can go back and do it in Katana. And uh, I can ask Arnold to make some shading variation uh, thanks to this. So I'm going to create like an Arnold, another Arnold shading node. And um, I'm going to load within the Arnold shading node one of the Golem shaders that we provide uh, within Katana and within, Go uh, within Maya. So one is a switch shader, which takes um, 10 different entries here. And based on the value of the selector, it will just redirect to one of the entry. So I can change the colors. I can say, OK, my first color here is going to be like a, a yellow. Um, let's say I want to have a green, blue, um, pink, and red. Let's say here, there. So now I fit um, the different color for my entry from 0 to 4, which is the exact same range that the one I had uh, with Maya. I'm going to rename that like switch and I'm going to connect the out to the deepest color of my shader. And the last thing I want to do is I want for, for every character to be able to read that value and just redirect to the nice uh, and the, the convenient entry. So I'm going to create an other um, shading, shading node. Shading node here, which will be a dedicated Arnold node which is called um, user data, user data int. So here I can specify a name of a user data to read, and um, this user data I can just point it to my selector. And hopefully, if I render that, now I should get variation. There you go. So here is this my variation for uh, my character. So uh, it's based on the different color I've been provided. Um, one last thing I, I would like to show you is um, just a pipeline, uh, uh, something which is more convenient for your pipeline, I guess. Uh, let's say you're doing your look dev within Katana. Uh, what may happen is when you will do your character file um, within Maya, you will not end up having the the correct names for your shading groups. And obviously, you don't want to make your look dev within Katana and just uh, replicate the, that, that shading um, within Maya just to get the names properly. So there's something we introduced into Golem 6.2.1. If I go into the Golem cache node here, uh, and if I go into the advanced attributes, I've got something which is now called shading otherwise. So even if we store names for the shading groups and the shaders, within the character file, you could override those just by saying that this mesh, the name of the mesh, uh, will be assigned to that new shading group. So let's say here, uh, I want to change the name of this. I want to maybe rename that uh, manmd just t-shirt sj. So that's not the name which is stored within the character file. So what I would like to do is say, OK, I want to override the shading uh, for that mesh. So I'm going to paste that here. I uh, just want to have the name of the, the mesh, which will be assigned to that shader. So usually that's something you already have with a new Katana scene. Uh, you may have your T post character here in the middle, with all the, which has all the names of the meshes. So that's easy. That's something easy to extract from Katana. And you can say, OK, um, my uh, man MD Tosho t-shirt standard uh, mesh, comma, will be assigned to that shading group, which is the name of the shading group specified here. And you can add like just a separator and put as many shading overrides you want to. So now, even if you don't know the name of the shading group which has been assigned within Maya, uh, still you can render your characters and get that shading override working properly. And um, here it is. So even if the name of the material has been changed, um, the shader override can deal. Um, can deal this for you if you'd like to. So uh, hope it makes sense and uh, see you in the next video.